stress, anxiety and fear. These are the emotions that we cannot really avoid. But what we do have control is the way we deal with these kind of emotions. Now, why do you think some people are so good at managing with their stress, anxiety and fear while the bulk of the people are suffering from the chronic stress and anxiety? This video of mine is a small attempt to make you aware as a science behind it as to what exactly happens inside your brain that makes a person behave the way they are behaving when they are encountering stress, anxiety and fear. The first important part of the brain is a small almond shaped organ in the center of your brain called amygdala. Think of amygdala as a system which is triggering the fire alarm when it perceives some external threats. It prepares you for the flight or the fight response that is either you run or you kind of uh, fight the situation. This is the center of the brain which is the seat of your anxiety, stress and fear. The only intention of this brain is to keep you safe from the external threat and avoids taking any constructive action and the logical and the constructive thinking completely takes a backseat. The second important part of the brain is the front part of the brain which is called the prefrontal cortex. It is the center of your focus, concentration, your judgment and your critical thinking. Now for a person who is in a chronic stress and anxiety, the amygdala is quite large in shape and that is the one which is taking the control and the person completely shuts down from logical thinking when he is dealing with those situations. In fact, technically it's called a term called amygdala hijack when you are completely under the control of amygdala and you are unable to do the, any kind of logical thinking. Similarly, for a person who is able to deal with the stress and anxiety, the amygdala hardly gets an impact. The signal comes here, but the person has the ability to switch and take control of the prefrontal cortex so that at the moment of stress and anxiety, the person is able to deal in a constructive and a focused manner. Now, the good news is, if you are someone who is under chronic stress and anxiety, step by step you can rewire your brain so that the time it takes for amygdala to lose control and the prefrontal cortex to take control will slowly start reducing. But more of that as to how you can deal with that will be in my next video.